everybody. Welcome back to the Lo-Fi Podcast. You're listening to the best podcast on the internet because it's got me, your host, Frank. We've got Caleb here today. Hello, everyone. We've got Heidi. I'm here. And we have um, Not an, Rick. an empty chair where Rick used to sit. Boo. Yeah. Boo. That <laughs> man. We had, a, we had a meeting. Oh, no. It's that was true. his joke. <laughs> <He's out. laughs> <laughs> no, we're kidding. He's busy. <laughs> but he really wanted to be here today oh. because we'll be discussing Game of Thrones season eight, episode four, mm-hmm. titled "The, the Last, Last of, of the Starks,", Starks. Yeah. which is a weird title, right? I thought that was kind I don't of a really weird. Understand it? I was like, there was nothing really pertaining to the end of them. Like if this was like Red Wedding, Last of the Starks. Okay, right. I get it. Okay, even yeah. though well, not it was technically... a meeting with the four of them. <clears throat> that, yeah, that that's one the only scene. thing I was like. Because they're still... I think they say it, it. We're the last Starks. Yeah. It's like, oh, they said the title. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, okay, I wanted to get into it, but we will get to that <laughs> scene later. I've got some stuff to say. <clears throat> okay. All right, guys. So uh, we begin with the episode of the funeral pyres opening up. Yes. Oh, right? Yeah. We have everyone kind of setting their own loved ones on fire, mm-hmm. basically, yeah. right? That's how I want to go. Yeah. If I die, I want you to let me die. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just making that statement now. All right, man. You guys heard it here first. A lo-fi exclusive. <laughs> I'm gonna set, set you up on fire. fire. Yes. At his funeral. The title, not clickbait. <laughs> <laughs> um. So Danny's like setting Jora on fire. Yes. Right. Um. Who else? To who else? I'm One of the Nights Watch. Sam to the Nights Watch. Sam to right? the yeah. Nights Watch. Who was um John? setting on fire i forget sansa but, was crying over theon i was like that's weird yeah <laughs> but you know they, maybe because they, they reconnected together. yeah well yeah. i mean they did kind of grow up together a little yeah. bit right yeah. i mean he did save her they had that connection yeah you know, we'll see. oh you know what no never mind so <laughs> i thought i wrote down <laughs> yeah i did it i wrote down other stuff <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I have not looked at these notes in like six days. What a cool wall. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we have a very, very somber uh, funeral scene. And then moving on to uh, the feast that they're all having. Feast. It's kind of quiet. You know you know what? The, I felt like that feast was missing was like music. You know, usually you have like happy music, like someone with a fucking accordion style. Yeah, yeah. You know, just. You didn't notice. Right? I guess. It just. Because it. it it, it felt, felt jovial enough. Yeah, it was kind of like, how awkward is it? Feel? Just like it was quiet at first, but as more people got more drunk, drunk. Yeah. It, yeah, I felt it pick up. Yeah, so yeah. it didn't bother yeah. me too much. Yeah. yeah, so it wasn't too bad. Um, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I mean, so kind of unease a little bit, right? And then you start getting into like conversations, the individual the, um, combos. Well, one of the main things that starts happening, right, is Gendry's looking for Arya. I think he's asking around for her and stuff. Yeah. Where is she? Yeah, like, where is she? I'm like, dude, stop. Just keep it in your you're pants. You're just desperate now, man. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, but then Khaleesi sees him and just, you know, fast forward, names him Lord of Storm's End. Mm-hmm. Yes. Right? Yes. Does that mean? Very strategic. Yes, made a strategic strategic choice decision, decision yeah. to put him uh, as a lord of Storm's End, mm-hmm. um, which she made a comment to. <laughs> I forget who it was. Tyrion. Tyrion. And she's like, "I'm clever too." Yeah. yeah, you're not the only clever one. You're not the only clever one. Which makes me think, like, I feel like Tyrion's kind of been on the back side this whole like, season. Yeah. Or two. Yeah. Because like he, he, cause in the first couple of seasons, he's super clever and he outsmarts everyone because mm-hmm. everyone's like evil and dumb. Yeah. But now, like, I feel like he doesn't, at least with the show, it's like he doesn't know what to do anymore. Mm-hmm. So he just helps in, in spots, but he's not as clever as he used to be. You know what I think that might be a problem of is um, maybe because now we're getting to the end of the books where they're kind of having to make up their own stuff. Yeah. They're not That's getting, true. they're not getting George's like awesome, clever writing. Yeah. You know what I mean? maybe right i'm sure he he gave i mean he is an executive producer on the show still um yes. i don't know exactly what you know how close his relationship is to the executive producers in writing the show but it it, it does feel like a lot of the political um you know powers or the the minds at least that were involved heavily in the first couple of seasons like 
you're kind of not doing much, right? We talked about Varys and, you know, not doing much in the last one and stuff like that. But mm-hmm. I think maybe we start to see a, a glimmer well, we start, of that. Yeah, that's later true. In actually, yeah, we do start later. to get to see a lot more. Um, so during this episode, uh, we see uh, Khaleesi also. I keep calling Khaleesi now instead of Danny. Whatever. It's the same person. You're both right. Uh, we see a Starbucks cup on her table. <laughs> Which I didn't notice it. I didn't either. Which yeah. can I say? Yeah. I think the internet took this way out of proportion. Yeah. Yeah. Like it was like, okay, it's a mistake. It happens in a lot of movies, you know, and like, shows. Like it's whatever. Like I'm I surprised like, they didn't notice it though. Like I know, even I, in filming and yeah. editing. Like. Yeah, it's kind of weird that they didn't notice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it's also like I feel like people like were on like, oh my gosh, did you see this? Ha 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 ha! Or like, yeah. how yeah. can they make this mistake? Blah blah. It's like, dude, it's that's a mistake. Like, I think I, I think the reason is because it's one of the like the most glaring mistakes they've ever done. Like yeah. if there was ever yeah. anything, yeah. there was never a post about any kind of mess ups or mistakes they yeah, did yeah. before. Uh, so that was kind of fun to watch. It was funny, people, but it like, wasn't like yeah, as big as a deal as people were making it out to be. Yeah, yeah. I think. Well, it's the internet, right? You know, that's, that's what <laughs> that's they do. True. There are a lot of cups <laughs> on the table. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, what we also see her is uh, paying attention to the way people are celebrating John. Yeah. Right, because people are naturally drawn to him. He's a hero. Yeah. Right, and she's seeing that even though they all kind of did it together, um, she sees a lot of it still on him. I mean, they did say like, uh, who was it? Tormund who was saying like, oh, to the Dragon Queen and stuff, right? So I thought it was cool that they included her, but very yeah. quickly she saw that everyone just kind of really happy about John and saying, mm-hmm. you know, all his triumphs and stuff like that. Uh, mostly Tormund probably saying that it make her feel like shit, but um, I thought that was interesting. Um, and then kind of intercutting a lot of this with uh, the drinking games that right that Tyrion and um, Brienne, Brienne and and Jamie Pod. and Podrick was there, right? Yeah. Call back to season one because that's when he first starts the drinking game with uh, Shay and uh, uh, Bronn. Yeah, I mean, he's like, oh, you have to tell a lie or truth and a drink or whatever. That's right, that's right. I remember uh, that. So that's called like season one. So I don't get why he drank. <clears throat> Who? When Tyrion um, told Brienne that, you know, she's a virgin. I don't get why Pod drank because he clearly isn't a virgin. Oh, because he's I got think a he big was just dick. Like, I think he was just like, ah, I don't want to get out of this scenario. Like, oh, like. I think he was just like, uh, awkward. Yeah. Like he doesn't, I don't know. I think Why would drinking, he rather? I think he was drinking just a drink. No, yeah, because it's, because it was pain, it was, he was asking Brienne and that's how the game works. It's to the person you're asking. True. But I think, yeah, I think Pod was just like, uh, like he was oh, like, yeah, because he really wasn't yeah, playing. Was it was kind of them three and he's just yeah. kind of just watching and, oh, okay. right? Because they didn't ask him anything. No. Right? No. I, so. I was like, well, that's not the rules. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh. And Tormund coming over, right, and trying to get to Brienne. Yes. Uh, Jamie stepping in and blocking him. him. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, uh, then he got sad. Like, for real sad. I was sad for Tormund. I was like, no, he loves her. (laughs) But then I was also happy for Jamie. I'm like, yeah, Jamie, go get her. (laughs) She's taller than he is. She's a big bitch. Yeah, that was hilarious how Tormund was like, crying and say this yeah, to somebody like, like who's he saying it to and then it's uh, that hound like oh that's hilarious yeah. that's awesome he's just <laughs> crying to the hound about it after yeah, like anyone who doesn't care more yeah. is the hound yeah. like, oh god jeez <laughs> I love that scene man uh, speaking of the hound um, we have sounds that come over to him around this period right? yeah uh, it's the, like I guess prostitutes were probably I think trying? it's just all or the you think it was just women are like oh, yeah. I feel good yeah let's do it yeah maybe I don't know <laughs> yeah David said they were significant people and I was like what no what? they're just whores. the girls <laughs> yeah, yeah he was I like aren't they know. like um ladies or aren't they the daughters or he was like and I was like no my first assumption was that Sansa like paid them or something like I don't know if she's trying to hate paying these girls to like hey go make the men happy or maybe that is a bunch, yeah maybe they were just a bunch of prostitutes <laughs> I mean that's the way prostitution works how you just matter I've who sent them I they just show up and then they get paid after their services. I guess so. I was, they see a party. They Someone's paying them. Yeah. Right? Maybe know. they're just happy to live. Yeah. Like, yeah. Right? They're the, happy to be the, alive. The victors. Right? Yeah. They got a set of skills. This one's for free. They <laughs> saved our lives. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, so uh, Sansa kind of comes up to him. I, I like her line that she tells him, you know, because he's calling her li- what, Little Dove. Little Bird. Little Bird. 
and uh, she, you know, she talked to him like about being grateful that all the things that happened to her because it's true. Otherwise, she'd still be a little bird. Mm-hmm. And I thought that was fucking cool. Um, there was a person, I think it was Jessica Chastain, who was saying she said something stupid, or at least I thought it was dumb. Mm-hmm. But she said she didn't like that line because they. She she says it's kind of like they're glorifying rape, like there was something good came out of rape or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I didn't get that vibe at all. No. I think she's just saying all the troubles with with um, Littlefinger and with Ramsey. Uh, Ramsey, like all those things that she's gone through and her yeah. her uh, aunt, uh, that she's thankful that she went through all that because she wouldn't be where she is now, in yeah. a sense. Yeah. Uh, so I thought it was weird that she was saying that, like, oh, you're glorifying rape. I was like, I don't know. No, I never I got that. It's how you overcome all. your obstacles. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. they happened to her. It's, there's no point in thinking what would have happened had it, they not happened to her because they did. Yeah. So at least she's a stronger person yeah. because of those things. Yeah. Which Bran also said that earlier this season to Jamie. Yeah. Yeah, he was like, oh, I'm sorry I pushed out the window. And he's like, well, I'm, you know, if you didn't, we wouldn't be here. We wouldn't be where you are now. He yeah. said the same thing to Theon. Like, Theon, you had to do those things. Oh, yeah. To be yeah, here. same thing. Yeah, yeah, so that's a common... I mean, common, it's true uh, for everyone ever yeah. who existed. Like, If I hadn't started working at Costco, I wouldn't be here. For real. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that's true. We would have never have met. If man. you didn't work at Costco, I wouldn't have met David. I wouldn't be able to afford <laughs> these microphones. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's so all it's all comes full circle. Everything Dang happens. Costco, 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 Costco is our winter and end of us. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely end yeah. <laughs> for sure, right? <laughs> um, so after this, we've got Gendry finally finding Arya. Oh, outside. that Bart was so like <laughs> scotch. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was because he's there, like Fuck. come come be my lady of Storm's End. She's, she's like, nah, not a I'm lady. not a lady. She's and which, like, you would have expected that, right? You think, like, 100%. oh. 100%. Yeah. I mean, you like the idea of it. because like, oh, it's a Stark and a Baratheon. Like, that yeah. would be cool. Yeah. But she's like, nah. I, I, she's been fighting it since season one. Well, also, because I don't think she likes him. I think she just wanted, you know, to take, like, that opportunity to have, like, sex with him. For I the, think if because... he were willing to adventure with her, mm-hmm. then they could definitely team up. But yeah. that's not what he wanted. I mean, that's he's a lord now. Yeah, if he's a lord, he's going to have to go. Yeah, it's he's just got duties separate and stuff, right? Unfortunate. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, stars not aligning. Yeah. Uh, my next note. Jamie bangs Brienne. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that scene. <laughs> I, I like that they kept her modesty though. Like, like they, they show, show Arya's fucking CGI little body, but they don't show Brienne. Like, all right, yeah. Game she's of a Thrones. knight of the Seven Kingdoms. Let she, her keep her modesty. I've never been with a knight. LOL. He <laughs> <laughs> said, neither have I. <laughs> right or something like that. She's never been with anybody. Yeah. Virgin. Yeah. <laughs> I was kind of like happy for her. I was like, yeah, Brienne, get it. Brienne. Oh, and she loved Jamie. Oof. But then what does he do? Keep yeah. going. Mm-hmm. And then, <laughs> and then, let me tell you. Yeah. Well, it doesn't happen yet. I know. <laughs> Way later. Uh, so um, then we uh, kind of go to uh, John and Danny having yeah. their discussion yeah. in their room privately. Yeah. Um, uh, that was uh, that was a pretty crazy scene. The way that went. So yeah, she kind of lets him know, like, hey, you can't. I want things to go back to the way they were. You cannot tell anyone about us. Which is fucked up. Yeah. I fe- I, that felt like, wrong to me, even. I was like, that kind of feels wrong. You know? Yeah. Like, yeah. it's true in her situation. Yeah. And then after what she saw, people would obviously prefer John. Yeah. Yeah. And the way she's like, you can't tell your sisters and stuff like that. Yeah. And he's just like, oh, what do you mean? I'm going to do the right thing. I'm going to tell That's his sisters. identity. Yeah. Like, yeah. she's telling him to not be a person. <laughs> To not be who he, he, who he is. Mean, is. You yeah. gotta think, like, at the end of the day, the Night's Watch sort of are, like, comparable to soldiers, right? Yeah. They have their duties, they're stuck, they're, they have to be where they are, and they have to do their duties, right? Yeah. Um, John is kind of a soldier in that sense, and, like, he he has his morals, and he has his, like, I'm gonna do the right thing since day one. Ned Stark was his father. Yeah. Him. Well, you know, right? Um, and even though he did break his vows, to, you know, with with uh, what's her name, Egret, Egret. Uh, he was still just trying to. Sur- in that sense, he was like, okay, well, I do need to survive. In a sense, and he did grow feelings for her. Yeah. Uh, 
but he betrayed her still because he's like i'm still a night's watchman i'm still a soldier i still gotta do my duty and i think he's like you said he's always had that moral compass throughout the whole series actually yeah uh, so for him to be, for her to be like, well, you gotta lie to everyone now. Now that you know this thing, and you gotta you yeah, know, do no this. Way. He's like, yeah, uh, no way. He's gonna like, no why would he change way. now? Yeah. He's like, uh, that's really hard for me to do. And even like, he's not even, even uh, Danny's cool with the whole like incest thing. He's like, I don't, I don't. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like now that I know, it's like it's not cool. Like I don't know. Yeah, like she was like, cause they in that scene they like start kissing, and yeah. I, was, I was like, oh okay, so they're fine like physically, and then he's like pulls away yeah and i was like oh no he's not fine with it <laughs> yeah. like she kind of was you know yeah yeah she which also it nephew. runs in their family you know i have a problem <laughs> yeah. actually with their love story i feel mm-hmm. like it's like it's a uh, like the star lord and gamora love story mm-hmm. where it was kind of thrown on us and they're like we're so in love with each other type of thing and i feel like it's the same thing with daenerys and john mm-hmm. where they kind of just fell in love and they're like we're so in love with each other i'm like i haven't seen that though mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. i don't believe it like they say it but i haven't bought that yet but yeah. they're yeah. like super in love with each other yeah yeah that's just me because they keep mentioning that they're like oh i love john or i love danny or whatever like they keep saying that and i'm like i don't i never got that vibe yeah that you, they were, you like, can't just throw that season. word around right yeah because they met last season and then they did it and i was like oh, okay they like each other but they were like no we love each other and doing whatever for the him yeah i'm like oh okay yeah i guess i have to take it that I mean, yeah. between episodes, days pass or whatever. Yeah, you know, no, I, I get I that. I, I just, it's just hard for me to buy. No, for sure. Yeah, I guess. yeah. you should. Like it feels unearned. Yeah, there, there you go. go. That's what I'm trying to say. I feel that. Yeah, I get you. Um, after this, we have the war console meeting where they're kind of talking about uh, how they're gonna, yeah, they're gonna siphon off uh, different armies to go different places. <laughs> well, they're saying like half these people are gone, half of this is gone. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, they're kind of like, and I like it. They're pulling away. Like their little like reinforcement symbols, like no, these guys. Which are I gone. thought they lost these a lot more, so I'm surprised it was only half. Yeah, it was like, still it looked bad. It looked so bad that episode. Um, but th- this is where we have like Sansa and uh, Danny kind of. Who clashing do you think is right? A little bit. I think Sansa was maybe Sansa right. Sansa was right. They needed a rest. They dude. do need a rest. Like they just yeah. fought What's off the, the point fucking in undead. Sending troops that aren't ready to fight. Yeah, not to mention it's like Cersei isn't going nowhere. You know, like what's the rush? Yeah, to that's go the over thing there? too. Yeah, she's not going anywhere. Yeah, like that. That to me felt rushed, and the fact that John kind of stepped in to defend Danny, which I thought he was going to defend Sansa first. Yeah, because John's usually kind of like the moral compass, right? So or the you would think one at least. Yeah, and so you would think that he would have said, "Yeah, Danny, he was they just need trying to, rest. to show Danny, like, yeah. no, I mean it when I say I'm here to serve you." Yeah, that's yeah. so. That's that's yeah. where it got me thinking, like, whoa. I mean, yeah. are you? Who are you trying to serve here, Danny, or or what's right, right? Right. Or at least that that's what we perceive. I mean, I don't know. Maybe. maybe but Danny's this right. is definitely why they don't trust her. Yes. Yeah. As it, a, to as a leader. It kind of felt like a child yeah. thing to do. Like if you think of a kid, you're like, oh, yes. after this, we'll go to McDonald's, right? Mm-hmm. And then like you do this thing and you're kind of tired, like, well, let's just rest for a minute. Like, no, but you said we're gonna go to McDonald's right now. Yeah. Like, no, let's just hold on. Like, no, no, you said we're gonna go. Like, oh. All right, we'll go to McDonald's, Danny. <laughs> <Fuck>. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that that sort of kind of reminds me of like a child and they're like, well, yeah. you said we're gonna go here, so let's go. Let's yeah. go already. We're gonna go like, right just now. appeasing them. Like, yeah, it's like we'll do like chill yeah. for like a minute. <laughs> um so after that, I mean, that's where uh, fucking Arya's like, nah, I want a sidebar with you. We both do. Yeah, and family it, meeting. Yeah, family meeting, <laughs> asshole. <laughs> Just, <Yeah. laughs> and they pull him aside. And um, this is this is where I was kind of uh, a little, like, you, you want to see their reaction to it. Oh. Right uh, to him finally revealing, even though that we've he's been not. told twice. Yes. already we've been told twice, but Maybe it's that's like why they cut it out. <laughs> yeah, I think that's why. I, so I thought it would be interesting because he's like Brand. You tell them, you know. Yeah. And I thought it was going to be interesting hearing it from Brand because it, it, these are the times he was being told, and then another time it was him. Uh, it was him telling uh, Danny. Mm-hmm. So I thought it'd be interesting if it was now Brand telling the the girls, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, but they decided not to show that. And I was kind of bummed about that. I was like, oh, that sucks. Or I thought like maybe at the end of the episode, they were going to show, you know, like maybe they'll reveal something that was said or whatever. Mm. Oh. Uh, but they didn't go back to it at all. So I was kind of bummed uh, about that decision, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to see the girl's reaction to it. Mm-hmm. 
Oscar, something like that. It's heavy, right? And then for them to choose not to show it, like, if it's minor information just being retold to a minor character, sure. But this yeah. is, like, heavy information being told to, like, main characters. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, yeah. why would you not want to show that? You know? So I was kind of bummed about that. Uh, so then uh, Bron comes with the crossbow and oh, an yeah. offer. Fucking Fucker. Punches the shit out of Tyrion, man. I, I was like, what the fuck, He's so Bron? hard. I love him. He's such a dick. <laughs> like, in this part, like, you think, like, he'd come in and be like, okay, I know these fuckers are going to pay me more. But yeah. he's like he doesn't shooting know the that. crossbow at he him and everything. He doesn't know that. Yeah, I mean... It's going to be the outcome of the war, like he's you said. He's being a dick. Yeah, yeah he's being hard he's on He's getting him. what he wants. Yeah, pretty like, much. Like, I guess it's... I have conflicting emotions with that scene, too, because, like, uh, like I, I get that's what he is. He is a sellsword. Like, that's what he does. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, I feel like he's been with them forever, like, yeah. both Tyrion and Jaime. Like, yeah. I feel like he would have grown more of a relationship with them. Yeah. Like, at least been like, okay, I, like, I kind of like you guys... But show me something. What, what can I do if you don't want me to kill you or whatever? Yeah, of course. But he was, like, being a total douche to them. And I'm like, yeah. I feel like there would have been more of a... I thought they all had more of something going yeah, on like instead of just, like, right. yeah. They've been through shit together. Yeah, legit. Blackwater, like, mm-hmm. you know, all kinds of things. And it's just, like... He well, can't the, risk the them ballista. fucking him over, though. Like, he needs to show him, like, I'll fucking punch you. Like, and then to come back to Cersei without having killed them, which is what he was sent there to do. Like, yeah. that's mm-hmm. also a risk. Yeah. But then it's also just a waiting game to see, like, who's actually going to win. I like how he... He was like, I'm putting money on your dragon, so because yeah. like I'll he's he like he's thinking about you know a few steps ahead at least. Yeah. So uh, cool. I like the the offer though. Like, what's double river run? Yeah. Like High garden. Like, High oh, garden. Shit, dude. Yes. <laughs> like if, if at the end of this, I I hope he gets high. He garden. gets yeah. Wouldn't <laughs> that know, be something? He does, <laughs> forgetting hard ass forgetting with like fucked over all this time and stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And for him to just end up with High Garden, like <laughs> holy shit, that'd be funny, man. Yeah, that would be pretty good. Yeah, I'd love to see that. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, so next we have an interaction with Arya and the Hound when they're on their horses and stuff. Yes, Caleb, I know you have. You've always you've kind of been wanting uh, a, the, like some kind of re- like hound good, Arya. yeah, Hound Arya interaction. How'd this one fare for you? Uh, this was better for me. Yeah, I liked it. I liked, it. I liked mm-hmm. it a lot better. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I forgot most of what was said here. <laughs> no, I think he, I, the one thing I remember is that he was saying like, "Were you gonna leave me to die again?" And she's like, "Yeah, yeah," and I'm like that kind of stuff. And I, I think I like that better. There's yeah. just more. Oh, of like they don't fun... plan on going back. Which yeah, they plan on both weird. dying. Yeah, which... I don't know what she's gonna like. Do. Why would she? Yeah, like why would she not? She's trying back? to kill Cersei. Like her sister's mm-hmm. gonna stay there. And I hope yeah. she does. But she was all about family. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. That's yeah. kind of weird. Fuck, she's probably gonna try to kill Cersei. I think that's what Cersei's she's on try. her list, right? Yeah, she's still going that Ooh, on that yeah. list. That's I think that's what she's gonna try to do. Fuck, but... you think that's how it's gonna end? They're gonna have her kill two I, main I people. I really would not like that at all. I would hate that like so yeah. bad. We'll have our predictions about who's gonna kill Cersei at the end. Damn. You're right. I have a prediction. Yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> it was already ruined Shut by up. someone else. Shut in a up. Group chat. <laughs> 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 um, next we have an interaction between Tyrion and Sansa. Yeah. What happened here, Caleb? She was butthurt, <laughs> which I thought was kind of like, oh, that's interesting. Because um, he's, because, like, I think that was totally taken out of context when he was like, oh, Donnelly really said he's not a Stark. But I think that was totally taken out of context because I think he was saying that in the sense of, like, I'm a snow. Well, I yeah. thought the same thing. Yeah. But she's just received this mind blowing information. Uh, so I think she was just, like, getting, like, thinking about it and then here's Tyrion like oh here's someone who can do something about it uh-huh. she fucking broke her little I swear not to tell fucking bullshit right away so you think right at the end of that she probably like lets yeah she know, told right? it well of course she did of course she did. Right. because on the boat they discuss it yeah. I just wasn't sure if he already knew and they were kind of like dancing around the subject no or... they discussed no. it twice yeah, she was the like what if there and... was someone else yeah he's yeah. like well who yeah Brand. yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the so three eye boring raven he doesn't do anything <laughs> So many good brand memes out there, man. Can I just say, yeah, if they don't pay off brand, I, that's the most pointless character. Because if he, all his thing is that, oh, I know all of history, yeah, isn't that what the maesters do? Yeah, <laughs> they sure. have a whole library of history mm-hmm. and things that have happened. Mm-hmm. And even Sam found out about Aegon's wedding, even though he didn't yeah. technically know what it was, but yeah. he did find out about it. So it's like if they have all the history, then why do we need a three-eyed raven? I think if uh, if they show him like impacting the past somehow the way uh 
well, he fucked up Hodor. Yeah, yeah, the way he <laughs> fucked up Hodor or whatever. Yeah. I think if they they had some some kind of stuff like that, like affecting yeah. the future or the present in this case or whatever, uh, I think that kind of stuff would be a little more satisfying. But they don't have him doing any of that right now. He's anything. Just, yeah, they probably don't, don't know what battle. to do with him. Yeah, that was, that's probably another Joe R. 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 Martin yeah. like situation. Like probably something where he's probably writing stuff for him, but for the Wargy, show yeah. show purposes, I feel like they're just they're kind of simplifying everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, to just to, to a point, end it. To yeah. end it basically. Yeah. Six Rather episodes, than, no yeah, more. Fuck it, six episodes. Dude, take two years off. You have just... Literally you, two years. On, it man. took two years off for this freaking season. Yeah. Then, but I'd say take another two years. Take another <laughs> For the let last George, episode. Let George write his books and go off of that. Dude, I don't even know if he'll finish it. I don't, no, he won't. I kind of doubt years. he'll die yeah. before he finishes it. He'll die. He, he, he probably will. He's, he's no, like the 70. Way he writes, Shut at, up. He's 70? Yeah, he's I think old. so. He's at, pretty old, dude. At the way he writes, uh, and he's apparently got two more books to go. But the no. way he writes, he has like a room full of writers, and then he picks what he likes best. So, but then he he but he released this Targaryen book before the other books. Why is he doing that? I don't know what he's doing. I don't know. Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Ah. <laughs> he watches. <laughs> yeah, just just the way some of the books, it's like, hey, this book isn't a continuation. This happens at the same time. The last book, these events happen at the last time. This book. So, like, that's the way some uh-huh, of them weird. even go. It's yeah. not even like, oh, hey, we're telling you everything and In then we're continuing. Order. Yeah, it's like, hey, this one's going to basically, these events are happening at the same time as the stuff that happened in this fucking That's book. interesting because yeah. it's like a large area of exactly. land. Yeah. yeah, and so they're covering like, hey, we covered all these characters in this continent and what's happening in this land. And now this big ass book is going to be about what was happening at, you know, at the same time over That's here. Crazy. Basically, yeah, it's a large area of land, but they get places in five minutes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was uh, when was it? Was it last season where they talked about that being a fucking a glaring issue? Yeah, well, because last season like, when they started that, yeah, whole, like, doing, like, hey, the we're in uh, or whatever. King's Landing. Oh, let's go to the wall. Yeah. And it's like, what oh, the heck? Yeah. yeah, that was totally a thing. Yeah, it still is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> literally still is. Uh, next, we have an interaction between Tormund and John. Right, he's saying goodbye. Oh yeah, sad. You know, and Tormund <laughs> telling him, "I'm going. I'm going back beyond the wall." Which is cool. Right? Yeah, go back. Yeah. And I thought, hey, yeah, y'all did your part, man. Yeah, there's nothing else they need to the do. Dead go army. be free with the free folk. Yeah. Mm. But then he gives them ghosts also. In the real I know. North. I was like, why? Ghost is your pet. I know. Yeah, why did he just leave him? I guess because if he's a dire wolf and dire wolves are supposed to be in colder weather. But you know? like fucking now you decide to. <laughs> but you think about it too. Like if he's planning on going to King's Landing because he might either one die or two stay there with Danny or something. Like oh. there's like there's no that's no weather for a dire Oh wolf, true. Right. All right. So I was okay with that happening. I'm like yeah. I man, was you, okay with yeah, it Yeah Tormund will take good care of him I'm sure. Yeah. You know. But everyone was saying, oh, Danny wrote a dragon, so he fucking <laughs> fucked ghost or whatever. Aww. I was like, no, that, that's not true. He's, give, he's giving him a better home, yeah. you know, than he can give him. Um, so we're moving on. Uh, John says goodbye to Sam and Gilly. Aw, yay. We, we had that prediction where we were like, are they going to say she's prego? Right. Or, right? She and fucking then, looked it. Yeah. <laughs> and then totally. Yeah, yeah, she was. Sam number yeah. two. No. Coming, coming along. John. John. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Yeah, yeah. It's a boy will name him John. John. I thought Sweet. that was. Yeah, I thought that was nice of him. He's like, I hope it's a girl. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Which shows his humility again. He's just like, oh, don't, don't, don't glorify me. Yeah. I hope it's a girl. Yeah. I don't want to be named John. Fucking. Asshole. Just fucking take the compliment. <laughs> it's like, no, no, no. no. Yeah, do it. Oh, hey, John, you look good I'm today. The worst. Shut up, John. Shut up. John, you look good Stop. today. No, 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 no. I don't. After all this shit that you do, yeah. uh, don't. He doesn't want the glory, Heidi. Fuck he him. Want <laughs> he want just, I'm pissed. John, you're just king now. That's okay. I know. Ew. Here, Varys, no, you I'm take good. it. I'm no leader. You've led everything <laughs> this whole time. I'm not worthy. I can't do it. I hate him. <laughs> no, no, I'm just turning on him. <laughs> just with that one Shit. comment. Um, okay, so now we're moving along. They're preparing, right? Troops are leaving to different areas. Um, mm-hmm. Danny and them are heading towards King's Landing. John's heading towards, was it the Iron Islands? Or I forgot. I, don't... I forgot the battle plans, but whatever. John, <laughs> Danny, <laughs> John and Danny go to different yeah. places, right? But on the ships, uh, we have uh, Varys and uh, and um, Tyrion, Tyrion mm-hmm. speaking about yeah. um, what they know, 
now yeah. about uh, Danny and John, and also saying that eight people know now. Yeah. And I was confused about that. I was like, who are the eight it's people? It's the four children, Sam, Tyrion, Varys, Daenerys. And Daenerys. Oh, okay. That's eight. Yeah. And I like how they said, like, that's, that's eight people, like, that's... That sounds like a lot. <laughs> it's not a secret. That's information. I was like, now. sense is just fucking telling everyone. Yeah. No, nah, I counted it. And it was like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah that makes sense, though. It's, it's them. just core knowing. Mm-hmm. Um, so who are you feeling in, at, like is right at this point? Because, you know, you have Varys kind of. It's true. No, Varys is right because um, Tyrion saying that they can both lead. But with what we saw with the war plans, John was siding with Danny. Like Danny's always going to have like. Oh, you took it from me. Don't fucking, you know, we're a team. But it's always going to be what she wants and he's going to appease her. Yes. So I think Varys wants to kill her. And I think he's... Which I thought was crazy. I was like, dude, if he's going to make motions to like kill her now. Yeah. I I think he's saying like, I think the what he's trying to allude to is too is like, there's no other way in a sense, maybe. Like she wouldn't accept it. Mm -hmm. Which she didn't. She told him to shut the fuck up. Yeah. Yeah. So in order for her to just like completely accept it is her to be dead. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's because they, they get into a heavier conversation when, when he talks about maybe turning on her. If she's dead, who treason. fights Cersei? That, that conversation technically takes place later, but they do touch on it lightly here in the ships a little bit when they're talking about what eight people know and, yeah. and this and that. But either way, uh, that conversation happens. Yeah. And I think I think I would maybe side with Varys, maybe not killing her, but but he is right about like her being like very emotional and... She yeah. can easily go mad and, and be like her father and shit like that. Yeah, because mental illness is hereditary. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, after that, um, we have what seemed like just fucking out of nowhere. Fuck, dude, it was out of nowhere. Dude, Euron cuts off the fleet and kills one of the fucking dragons. I was so dragons. pissed. Just like nothing. <clears throat> no, dude, because I'm there. I'm like counting the eight yeah and when it happens and, happens, and i'm like you're like wait what <laughs> i was like he was in the water and i was like what the fuck caleb how'd you feel about this scene man? it was weird right? i was tell- so i was telling heidi i thought it was weird because when she's flying and you see the city right there i'm like well, what city is that <laughs> <laughs> i don't know what city that is yeah and like, then, are they in king's landing already yeah, yeah. and then that, i'm like wait question. so that was king's landing and then i was like if that's if they, if they knew that was king's landing why they were just like Oh, we're just gonna stroll up to King's Landing. Mm-hmm. Like nothing's gonna happen. Like yeah. I thought that was such a weird decision for That's them to just, just be like, "Hey, let's uh, let's just show up. Nothing bad will happen." Yeah. And they just start shooting them down. And that they had one weapon, and now mm-hmm. they have like twenty. Yeah. Um, and they're just like kill. They killed the dragon, which I was like, uh, okay. I, I hate Euron even more. <laughs> I hate him so much. Yeah, me and Caleb, we had a, a, a we tried not to talk about the <laughs> the stuff ahead yeah. of time. We did have one conversation about Euron. And we came to the conclusion that he's just like the fucking jock who. who yeah, said, that's like, why I like that's him. That's what though. he is, man. No, he's just like I this love asshole those types. jock who's like, I want to go fuck all those cheerleaders. <laughs> he fucking killed the and dragon. Then he, and then he fucks all those cheerleaders. Yes, that's <laughs> why like, he wins. Fuck you, man. I hate like, it. I hate like, it. <laughs> And he never loses. Yeah. He keeps, he's it. a winner. Character. How are you mad at a winner? That's, I hate it. How can you like, uh, like, I want him to fail. I like. I feel like I'll like him He'll better fail. if he fails. He'll fail. He'll fail. Like, at least Joffrey was being put in his place a lot, but he was still, like, evil and in control. And we hated, well, I hated to love him, right? Mm-hmm. He, was he was the worst character, yeah. Yeah, but he would be put in his place by Tyrion sometimes or whatever. Yeah. Like, uh, like bad stuff happened to him. Yeah, yeah. no bad stuff Ramsey. happened to him because he's a winner. He's fucking he's, Cersei. Yeah. he's killing dragons. Dude, he's, he's on top of it. Taking over Greyjoys. Like, dude, like he just I, kicks ass and takes names, Frank. He just, I, that's he strolls up. What do you mean? I mean, he has all the ambition just, in the world. He's gonna be king. He comes out of nowhere. He's gonna be king. He, he also this. just showed up like two. He thinks he got her pregnant because she fucking told him he did. Like, yeah, he's a winner. He just shows up a season or two ago and he's like, all right, I'm going to go do all the stuff. He just does a bunch of stuff. He does all the stuff. He's a man that comes through. How do you, how do you, I love that. I'm I'm still anti-Euron, man. I don't know. Unless he dies. Unless he dies funny, maybe. Oh, he'll die funny. I think they'd give him that. Oh, probably, uh, the daughter or whatever the fuck her name is we'll get him yeah Yer- yerba yuri yuri Yer- mm, no no wait i don't know. yara yara, yara. That. Ah. <laughs> yuri. yuri um and so after he kills a fucking dragon fuck 
and uh, destroys the fleet. Destroys the fleets <gasps> like just arrows. We have thousands of arrows that we can shoot. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, okay. Miss yeah. Sunday. Miss Sunday. Yeah. Which? Yeah, what are the odds? What are the odds they're flying through the Shut water up. on the first of Sunday? Let's get her. Like, <laughs> I did. I also felt that. I'm like, what What were the odds that they were going to capture Miss Sunday? But like all the other stragglers. Are and that they knew on. who she was. Yeah. Yeah. Because. Oh, well, wait. No, I guess they did meet that one time. True. At the council. At the yeah. council. Yeah. But I was just like, what are the odds? But yeah. But I mean, it's whatever. It happened. <laughs> it happened. It happened. All right. <laughs> questionable. <laughs> questionable things happening. It's all right. Um, it's a show. <laughs> so uh, then we see Cersei bringing people into the Red Keep, yeah. right? Because she's like, oh, well, bitch. <laughs> yeah, she's like, if people are, you know, coming to safety, you know, kind of using them, like, as protection, essentially. Shields, human right? fucking yeah, shields. Yeah, human shield, literally. literally. Gives she, a fuck about these her people. these people don't know. They're just like, we're going to go to safety. And, but she, I mean, obviously it's a tactic, right? Yeah. yeah. She's psycho. And... um like she cares about her crown more than her people, which yeah. is what the crown is for. I hate yeah. her. Yeah. I hate her too. <laughs> she also passes off the baby as Euron's at yeah. this point. Let's yes. him know, right? That it's uh, that it's his. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then that's what we see that Missandei's held captive or whatever. Yeah. Missandei. Um, we have another war console at this point. Um, uh, this time it's kind of like Varys pleading to Danny not to do this kind of advising her like hey like you don't want to do this you don't want to kill the people right you don't want to rain fire on the people you're trying to save you know and, and i think which is an interesting way to look at it yeah because up until then she had been saving people from like rulers mm-hmm. who were like not cool yeah so but in this case with just with that strategy she's saying fuck it yeah it, i feel like for her it's been easy it was easier back over there because it was like Slave owners and slaves. All mm-hmm. right, just type the slave, slave owners, owners and then we're, we're good, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Here, it's like there's actual politics. People are yeah. smart. Mm-hmm. People like, are oh, smart. Like, we're going to do all this stuff. It's like you can't just go raid a city like she used yeah. to. It's mm-hmm. like she has, there's like so much she has to think about. Yeah, because I mean, mm-hmm. at that point, you, you'll have people who don't believe in you or want you dead or will right. hire people to kill you and yeah. stuff like that. You know what I mean? You're literally in a city and then they call it what, screaming what, children on yeah, fire. Yeah. Yes. That's, That's crazy. No bueno. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of an impossible situation. Like, what yeah. do you do yeah. Yeah. then? I mean, I think they had a good plan, which would, maybe that's why they were just strolling up because they thought, like, okay, we'll just wait outside the castle gates. Yeah. Like, maybe they didn't expect Euron to to be as cocky and yeah. to go fucking meet him in the water, right? Maybe that maybe that surprise that caused him, they, caught him by surprise. She had a fleet though, uh, uh, the Iron. Fleet. Yeah, they did know that. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, that's. I didn't think about it until he mm. had said something. Yeah. Anyway, after this, uh, that's where we have that like deeper conversation between Varys and Tyrion about Danny and about you know mm-hmm. whose sides are they taking and stuff like that. Treason, treason, treasonous. I don't know, man. I think does Varys leave? Right? Yeah. He like walks away, kind of right. Yeah. Well, he doesn't like leave. Leave though. I think he just leaves a little area where they were talking. I about thought that him. meant like he's leaving. I thought I took it. No, I think he was going to set plans in motion to, like, something happen Yeah, because he has his little, what does he call them? Birds or something. Little, little birds. Little birds. Right. Whisper. Little Not birds. Sansa. No. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> See, wasn't she Little Dove? Cersei called her Little Dove. Right? But that's the Hound no, that's said, you're a little, not a little, little bird. Little bird. Yeah. yeah. And then, uh, beyond that, uh, news breaches Winterfell about the ambush. Um and so that's when Jamie decides to leave. No, he just leaves, leaves. Brienne. He when he fucking told Brienne like everything that he's done, he did for Cersei. Like, oh, like that's the girl that loves you. Yeah. You're telling her that's how much you love another girl. Like, yeah. fuck. Well, she was like I hard think... crying. <laughs> she loved him. I, I think that. he told her that so that she wouldn't try to convince him to stay. Yeah, whatever. And see, because if, if he was like. Hey, you know what? Like the only person who could kill Cersei is me. I should go do it, and she could try to convince him. You think like, he's oh. going to kill Cersei? Yeah, I think legit he's gonna go kill Cersei. I thought he was gonna go and try and save Cersei, and that was all just evidence of his love for Cersei. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I think but I mean, the theory is that he, he's gonna kill her. That's I think. My I think yeah. that's why he told her that so harshly. It's just to be like, hey, you know what? Like I did all this, so like that's why I'm doing this. Don't try to stop me, type of thing. That's how I took it. Um, 
Because that's two quick turns. That's like a quick turn against Cersei and then quick turn back to Cersei if yeah. that's the case. Yeah. Which yeah. is weird. Um, well, because Sansa was like, I'm going to fucking love hearing about how they execute your sister. Mm-hmm. And I feel like that's why I thought initially I was like, oh, like, yeah, maybe he wants to go protect her. Yeah. Or at least tell her, like, you know, what are you doing? Like, what, warn you know, her. Yeah, warn her. I, I, yeah, I thought it was like a warning <coughs> type sitch. But I do believe, though, that that he is going to probably be the one that kills her. He should kill, kill her with his metal hand. It's just... <laughs> fucking oh beat the fuck out of her. Bashing her in. <laughs> Some, like, fatality. No way. God. No, I think he loves her too much. He loves her way. so yeah. much. It'll be a stab in the heart. I'm surprised he even fucked Brienne. Like, yeah, honestly. True. That's what I'm saying. It'd be weird if he did, like, a double turn. Uh, he's the Kingslayer. He doesn't give a fuck about <laughs> turning. Well, but he's... But he's... Yes, if it was season one or two. But he's grown so that's much true. since then. That's true. That's true. So, I mean, he's going because he knows that's where the trouble is. Mm-hmm. Either way. Here comes trouble. And here comes trouble indeed. Here comes Tyrion trying to talk to Kyburn. That was funny. <laughs> to negotiate uh, the release of Missandei. Help, help me. Help. <laughs> I don't think he understood yeah. what he was saying. <laughs> he's like, I don't want them. Yeah. So we have uh, Danny and, and some of the Unsullied, right, mm-hmm. just hanging out. And it Cersei. looked weak. <laughs> like, why yeah, would you even thought, show up? Yeah, like I was like, okay, where's the rest of you? There's like, like 20 guys. It looks like, I thought in that instance, almost like, I know there's very much like uh, rules of war and engagement and stuff like that. Like, I thought Cersei would have been the kind of person to just fucking kill them right then and there. Like, she could mm-hmm. end all of them. They have arrows pointed at them. Why not just take out the enemy there? That's you know, true. so I thought it's like I was like, dude, very easily she could just uh, take out the opposition there, like nothing, you know. So I thought that was gonna happen, but it didn't. Well, I thought she was gonna kill Tyrion. Yeah, especially when she raised her hand, yeah, right to like lose the arrows on him. I was like, don't you fucking do it. Right? I was like, my heart was beating. I was like, don't. My you heart was do beating. Mm-hmm. I was yeah. like, going on. I, I, I thought that would be at, like <laughs> manifesting fear. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just remembered like there's there's somewhat of a soft spot that she kind of has for him a little bit like she's always talking shit about him she's always you know saying he's the worst but like anytime he's like kind of like face her and giving her like the, the the eyes that he does the puppy eyes or whatever um i feel like there's been other episodes where she like backed away or felt bad or whatever so I, and i think this was an iteration of that also well, he knows her soft spot is her kids. That's why he was like pleading. Yeah, that's to why he's pleading to her about, about her child. And um, I don't know. I think she has a soft spot for him. No. Yeah. It, no, because she sent Bron to kill him. Yeah, but when he, when he's there in front of her, like, why not shoot him with the arrows? Then I I think there might it's have been gotta a, be a strategy. Reason. Either she wants him to see the destruction of everything, or. Yeah, I, I, don't know. I don't know. I think it's, if she killed him, maybe they'd start maybe attacking she's right then and afraid there. Afraid of the dragon, yeah, because mm-hmm. it would have started had she started it. Yeah, had she started, they would have started killing each other. Missandei yeah. was like, uh, what would you call that? A display of power. Yeah, casualty of war. Yeah, yeah, collateral damage. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then, um, but also they have two more episodes, Frank. So nothing could have started yet. <laughs> true, true. <laughs> yeah, Frank. So as much as. Uh, we wanted her alive. Yes. Missandei was unfortunately beheaded. I knew that was going to be episode. her last word. Yeah. I knew that really? was going to be... Dracarys, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that was going to be her last word. Yeah. Because I, I I thought by her saying Dracarys, she was going to have Danny Do it right have then and Dr- there. Yeah. I thought it was going to start. I thought yeah. shit was going to go down. Yeah. But no. I thought she was going to maybe plead to Grey Worm or something like... Oh. Remember me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you at the island. <laughs> <laughs> that was uh i mean i i knew she was gonna have to be beheaded i was like this is what's gonna fucking set off danny this i thought she was gonna push her off. off i thought she it looked like oh, she I thought was gonna so push too. i thought so too i thought she was gonna be the one to push her i was like oh and dude. then risk her like alive <laughs> like yeah, oh fuck so. <laughs> <laughs> like, alive and crippled yeah <laughs> damn they pick her up take yeah. her back i don't even want to think of that <laughs> no, and but, then i'm like oh that's what the mountain's there for the mountain yeah. killed her mountain sliced her head off a gray worm. One clean slice. Yeah, I think that that just did it right. Like they're gonna get pissed off. Mm-hmm. I think after that they'll probably start engaging before John gets there. What? So this that's the end of the episode prediction. What's yes. happening in the next two episodes? 
<clears throat> the last two episodes. A battle's gonna occur. I think the King's Landing <laughs> battle is gonna be the next one. And you then think the about... whole ep's gonna be battle? Maybe. What do you like think the, the last, last episode will be? The epilogue. Talky. Who... Talky. A lot of talking, a lot of like what's gonna happen now. I guess. Well, no, that that kind of stuff seems like that's gonna be the last half of the last episode, technically. Yeah, so we had mm-hmm. kind of predicted the same thing. Where it was first half talky, battle, mm-hmm. episode six continuation of battle, yeah. then ending. Talkie. That's exactly how I think it's gonna go. I think that'd be the best way to do it. Yeah, yeah. Because if um, it's all talky again, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> so pissed. After Miss Andre, it can't <clears throat> like they have to wait for John's forces. Like the and even in the in the next ep, like the coming up, they didn't show much yeah. at all. At yeah. all. Yeah. I was like, dude, they're gonna. There's gonna be. Did you hear about the big it. theory? What's the theory? The theory is, seeing how Great John looks up in the sky, he's like, "Yeah, because yeah, the yeah, sun so. is bright." Yeah, that's uh, I think he did that. <laughs> 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 no, <laughs> no, that that yeah, that possibly that dragon was pregnant, and there might be more dragons that <laughs> rise oh. from the ocean. That'd be sick as and then fuck. and then They'd Daenerys does the whole dragons. Night King, and they rise from the ocean. <clears throat> Just kidding. But, but don't they have I can't eggs? tell which of these theories is real or not. <laughs> the, so just the kidding many, after all of them. <laughs> but the dra- many dragons is a theory. But oh, okay. I don't know how. That'd be sick as fuck if there were more dragons. That'd, That'd be, be cool. cool. I don't know. That's how, how she would win. Out of all the theories that I've heard, like people theories, like okay, I could see that one. A lot of them, like I don't know about that. Like, Unless Brad Cersei kills Daenerys, someone kills Cersei, and then no one's left but John kind of thing and yeah. then he'll do it just out of obligation and his soldier mm-hmm. loyalty or whatever what if um so you know on the astro blade they're showing like a what looked like a comet or something like that what if some, it's just some hellfire kind of, yeah like some kind of extra dinosaur, thing is just epic dinosaur Fuck, like, like meteor just comes down war oh, doesn't matter God. because mother earth always wins <laughs> <laughs> that'd be fucked yeah, up i don't know that's I, why he's looking in the sky a comet fucking comes <laughs> i'm pissed just fucking fortnite season six or whatever the fuck is. <laughs> no i you know what i thought i thought it was gonna be uh just the, like the guy look it up and then like the dragon coming and starting fire i thought maybe that's what it was gonna be maybe it doesn't make any sense because that's something. the whole reason why she didn't attack in the first place is because yeah. they have a bunch of arrows well maybe this is like she during can't go the battle start yeah she was scared they of the take arrows. off the ballista because they have something. 40 arrows now <laughs> yeah so yeah. they can't freaking attack her i have a uh question okay what happened to all those um green explodey potions that she were, like, used it all no she used it all to she used blow it all to blow up the citadel or yeah. not the citadel but whatever it was oh, that's, whatever right. Building that's right because it was all under there okay. i miss her she i thought maybe so those more of that yeah that's right i was like that I love that. Episode. That was a cool fucking scene, man. Yeah, that that's really, how they started really the season. Yeah, yeah no, it ended awesome the first episode of the last season. Six. First, ep- wait, ended the no, first. No, I'm episode? pretty sure that was the season six. New ender. season. No, no, it was the ender because right before. I kind of want to fight you. <laughs> no, it's the Battle of Bastards, and then it's that the ones right after. It's yeah. the end of the. Uh, it was the no, the because the, the last... little boy jumps off the windowsill right after that happens. He kills himself because she yeah, killed. That's the end yeah, of the season. Six. The that's the end. Season. Yeah, I think so. Mm, no, no, I'm betting. <laughs> Bit of pizza on it. Bit of monster <laughs> or a tea. <laughs> um, who do you think uh, kills Cersei? If someone does kill Cersei, she has to die. She can't just be like, "Well, you be free." What if now. she wins? She's got a winner on her team. Like, <laughs> fuck. <damn it>. <laughs> she has to die. I think it's gonna be Jamie. It's if, gonna be if Jamie. She dies, it's gonna be Jamie. Jamie, Daenerys, John. Jamie, can't Daenerys, be John. Arya can't be. I would it can't hate if it's Arya, but <laughs> she's, it is. Yeah. Yeah, the hound what business does he have he's got to kill the mountain he's, he wants to go for the oh mountain. yeah and they're gonna kill each other oh, that's gonna be a cool fight yeah, yeah. Dude. Uh, you think we'll see his face finally oh oh true the hound like smashes him in the head and like his helmet breaks yeah oh, that'd be cool dude, and then the hound cool. oh no then the mountain brings out fire and he's like oh I don't know what to do it's oh! gonna be like a big thing he overcomes his fear. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's gonna happen. Just, just hire us already, man. Fuck. We're, writing the, we're writing it ourselves. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, <laughs> let's make our own. Yeah. Uh, any other predictions? I don't know, man. Do you think Danny dies before John gets there? No, I would no? hate that. Yeah, yeah. even though I don't like where she's going at the moment, I'd hate if she died. She'll yeah. be in his arms or some shit. Yeah, yeah. Would, <laughs> All pissed. Suck. Because at some point when, during the 
preview, they showed like him just kind of standing outside like by himself. I was like, where's where Danny at that point now? I don't know. Dead? So they they probably, <laughs> maybe. I don't know. She's no, so hot headed, so. she probably would engage before he even gets there. Right, that's what I thought. Especially because she's all super emotional and pissed. What if it's the, the same Sunday thing stuff? happens where Danny's on the ledge? John's the right same there. fucking oh my thing. God. That's how no. she takes up the whole army. It's just like one after the other. Jesus. And he walks away. <laughs> End of episode five. End of episode five. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, oh but yeah it's gonna be all good right shit. man it's, it's gonna, gonna be, be a, it's gonna be good shit can't wait to see it mm-hmm. can't wait to see you guys i see you guys <laughs> you george r, r. martin you I'll george you. r martin we'll see you later yeah when, when you're, you're finishing those books, books. if you don't Finish those die books. you guys saying he's gonna yeah, die don't be, don't be dying anytime I mean, soon he says it himself all the time eat so. your vegetables yeah uh, take your pills take your pills eat your vegetables and uh and watch your lo-fi podcast because yeah. this yeah. one's ending Thanks for tuning Tending. in, guys, for all of our thoughts and impressions on the latest uh, TV shows and movies and stuff. So we'll see you guys next time. Bye. 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 Goodbye. Oh, goodbye. 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 Wait, where's the double hands? Oh, it's weird. There's not a. There's, there's not, not a. Four. Extra. There's three of us. It actually look. God. Holy there we trinity, go. Man. Yeah. <laughs> Shazam. Shazam. <laughs>